As we are now in the final day of back to school week, safety continues to be top of mind for all students, staffers, parents, and there is a group that continues to focus on student safety in our community. Our education reporter Tiffany Lane joins us live in the studio to talk about the push for even more adult volunteers. Yeah, Kim, we've talked about this group before, Dads in Schools. It's a volunteer organization of men and women who follow the model prevention through presence. They show up at schools across CCSD in referee uniforms, so they definitely stand out. Now, these 130 volunteers create relationships with students to promote safety on campuses. Now, these volunteers started off the school year staffed at 37 schools permanently, and they also rotate between another 109 schools. That's how many have asked them to be there. Now, they come after those requests come from principals. They are out before, during school and hallways playgrounds and cafeterias, and even after school, getting to know students and changing student behaviors. Now, Dads in Schools founder, Pastor Troy Martinez, we spoke, he spoke with us outside of his grandkids' school, one of the many campuses that uses the volunteers. He says this program is exactly for people like his grandkids, and he says he's seen the success of the program since it started about three years ago. We got reports that, um, you know, at certain predictable times when they were used to fights breaking out, they never happened. You know, they, were, they would predict like towards the end of the school year that they would fight right after school, never happened. They would predict that they would group up, uh, you know, in the quad area right after cafeteria and fight, never happened. And that's exactly what we like to hear. Now, Pastor Martinez says the biggest issue they're trying to address this school year in particular is student behaviors, especially at the middle school level, to get ahead and keep kids, especially those known to have issues, from getting in trouble. Now, the group is hoping to get another 109 volunteers so that all schools who've requested their help will have a permanent volunteer every single day. Now, for anyone interested in volunteer, we've provided details on our website, news3lv.com. But Kim, it's great to see these programs seem to be working in our community as we need all the help we can get in keeping everyone on campus safe.